team poser. I am hopped up. I am hopped up full of coffee. I've had too many today. The diet's going well. I'm back to dieting after uh, Christmas break. Christmas was really good to me, so uh, I have to get rid of all the uh, all the crap in my house. So I worked out hard, but I drank way too much coffee. This poor man right here, Rodney Matthews, is on the receiving end of all this angst that I have built up. So today, today uh, we're so close now, guys. We're the 61 is almost over, and it's been a treat. It's been a real blast doing all these things. I'm hoping you're enjoying it. I know Rodney's been kind of enjoying it as much as you can, right? Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to start with a bow and arrow. We might as well start with some old school classic holds. To finish this year out, we've decided to kind of really go old school with it. A few pet peeves along the way. But today we're going to go with the bow and arrow. And not only is it we're going to go with the bow and arrow, I'm going to give you a couple different options out of it, both the counter for him and for you. Some, some different ways to look into it. So I'm going to have Rodney Matthews go down. Boom. So uh, in a when you drop to a hold or you, you flatten them out, you tie them out, and then you have contact on the body, what I like to do uh, with uh, uh, in, uh, bow and arrow, a bow and arrow is I like to make sure that my knee is pressed on that hamstring so that I can actually bend that leg up, that it looks real. You don't have to, I'm not saying you have to. Guys can just do that, a lot of guys do that, and that's fine. But for me, personally, I like to actually drive in so it looks realistic that you can actually break and hook and then bend down. Once you're there, it's the same thing. See, I still have him pinned. Once he's here, I got him pinned, so there's no going anywhere. Now that I have him hooked, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that hand is on the opposite side of the foot, and then I'm going to crawl up here, putting my shins on his lower back. Very comfortable for me, not so comfortable for him. But my toes are still on the mat, because what I'm going to do is roll back as I grab his chin. Please guys, grab the chin. If you grab the neck, it's a choke. <laughs> you can't choke a guy in pro wrestling. It's against the rules. Okay, so as legitimate as possible, you want to grab that chin. You want to reach for that chin. Once you have that chin, you have his uh, foot on the other side. What you're going to do is roll up. So roll on a ball, go backwards. So roll him up. That right there is bone arrow. Now, we can go into a pin. As you can see, I got him held. So one, two, he wiggles, wiggles. I can hit him into a pin. Boom. There's one option. There's one option into our bow and arrow. Another thing, go this way. This way. So we're gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna show you a counter that you can give him. So if you roll, if you get up here, you tighten up, bang, got him here, wham, now I got him. Boom, now I'm on his back, got him. So now what I'm gonna do is roll him up, but I'm gonna roll him right into a pin. So I'm just gonna keep rolling him until he's on my chest. So I got him here by the chin, got him by the uh, instep or the shin, and then I roll him up. Wham! And then I roll right into Another excellent way to do it. There's flow there. Usually when we do a bow and arrow that way, I like to keep contact, I like to get him right over. I don't like to hold the hold and then make it look goofy. Because he's already, if you get him up there, he's 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 in control, you're in control. You have him. But if you take that roll and use the momentum to go over, it looks really, really sharp. One more for today. Oh, I know, I got another one. So, same deal again, he's down. We got, uh, we got weight on the body. Shin, down, over, instep. Got him. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let the legs go. When I get him up, I'm gonna let the legs go like he wiggled free, and then he's gonna sit on his butt, and then I'm just gonna grab him. So once he's here, up we go, bang, he lets go. He goes, back. Body scissors. So we always have contact. Of course, we can roll into a pin. We can stay here. He can grab my toes, break them, and stand up. Lots of options. That's a bow and arrow. It's really, really cool because there's so many ways in and out of it. And that's the thing about wrestling that's beautiful. Many ways to do it. Check it out. 